It's such an important thing to understand so that we don't have false expectations around what is happening, how we go into the surgery, how we come out of the surgery. Um, and I think sometimes it's, it, it, it's obvious when we talk about it, but unless we talk about it, we just fall into the trap of thinking everything's fixed, especially if we are lucky in many ways enough to go into the surgery for this herniated disc and come out feeling substantially better. Now, to understand this, we have to maybe take a step back to when we've got a healthy disc, right? Understand that when we've injured our lower back, you do not injure the nucleus fundamentally. We're injuring the annulus fibrosis. Now, the way in which this disc actually works as a spacer, as a shock absorber, as a as an age to normal movement in the lumbar spine, is that we've got this fluid in the middle here of the disc, and, and that is non-compressible. So when we squash down, it's going to try and escape in all directions, but because it's contained within the bounds of this annulus fibrosis, as it tries to escape in one direction or another, it is held in place. That's with a functional annulus fibrosis, but the herniation is fundamentally, that process has failed. So what have we got here? We've got an injury to the annulus fibrosis, which results in such significant a damage that results in the herniated disc coming out. And that's the thing that you guys might be having the microdisectomy for, for example. And so when we have the microdisectomy and they go in and they remove this bit of herniated disc, the bit that's sticking out at L5S1, what's often not discussed is the fact that no, no healing, literally no healing has taken place in that annulus. All the surgery is there to do is remove this. And this is an important realization because all too often, the treatment of back pain is just that. It's treatment of back pain, of static pain. It's not treatment of a back injury. When we, when, we, when we treat our knee pain, we treat the collateral ligament strain that we've got. We might treat the quads tear. We might treat, treat the damaged tendon. But with back, we treat back pain. We treat static pain. And it's a problem because it leads people into not actually focusing on the problem and the injury and just focusing on the symptoms, which is why we keep re-injuring the injury because we're actually not really doing anything for the injury in these sorts of scenarios.